Alright. So we're gonna get a cold spell here soon. Uh, just do a quick economy check. Three citizen treatment. Not cured. So maybe... Maybe it's not, um... Maybe they'd probably be cured faster if it was at 100% efficiency with more workers. Basically, right? Um, we're, we're still gaining in steel. 64 per day, 80 per day. That's pretty good. I feel like we could probably knock down the wood slightly. Especially these engineers. And let's staff up the medical tent to 100% efficiency. And we'll go from there. Furususu says, does this game remind you of home? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, goats. I'm glad you like the shirt. Uh, yeah, this is Saskatchewan simulator right here. And like, look, this is mini minus 20 Celsius, guys. That's nothing. I would be thrilled to live in this little city at minus 20 Celsius. Thrilled! All right. People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in the Frostland. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. Cool. I like that it, like, ties that together. Um, I really want to get into the fighter pit. The fighter arena. But, uh, I want to see what happens during this cold spell. Once I go through this cold spell, like day four, I don't think I've ever gone to day five. Um, I only tried it for like 30 minutes yesterday. I don't think I got to day five. I didn't die. I just was like, hey, that's all I want to try, so. <clears throat> um, Motel says, look at the big crossed red circle in the city. You do not have any raw food, so there are five children in the cookhouse, which are not doing anything all day. Oh, right. That's such a good point. So when I'm zoomed out like this, you see this? Could not resume production requires raw food. So, during the day, I should send these guys to do stuff. That's actually a good point, until this starts to build up again. That's a good point. Let's send these kids out to gather more wood. Or... Steel. Uh, hold on. Steel wreckage, we've got maxed. We can throw a couple kids there. And we can put two kids on this one. Thank you so much, that's really good advice. We don't have the raw food anyways. People are hunting. It's fine. They hunt at night. So then they'll bring the food back, and then we could put them back in there. I guess, yeah, a little bit more micromanaging in that regard. Eight hours left here. We have, uh... Will it show us how long this is? Seven hours from the start, but... Can't waste the good kid slaves. <laughs> Jesus. You guys are dark, man. You guys are dark. Tristan Hall, thanks for the bits too, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Guys, zero discontent in our town. Zero. Just saying. I'm sure that'll change dramatically quite soon. All right. It's morning. Um... These guys are just going to chill out in the morning until about, what was it, 8 o'clock? From 6 till 8, basically. Expeditions, cruising. Alright, so now we have the raw food here. The scouts have reached the lost expedition. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Let's search the area. Happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We had been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults around us, packed and ready to go. Sites discovered gloomy clave... <laughs> gloomy clave. Gloomy cave and sturdy shelter. So we can escort the survivors to the city, or we can send the survivors to the city. If we escort them, scouts will set out towards our city and bring the survivors quickly and safely with them. So this is going to bring back 22 workers, 9 engineers, and 4 kids. That's a lot of tents. <laughs> That's how I look at that. Uh, survivors will set out towards the city on their own. It will take longer and some of them may die. 
I mean, I think I'm gonna try to bring them all back. Escort them. Maybe what happens is, like, now they have to do, like, a return run compared to, like, being able to go and, and scout something right away. And it'll make them go further if they want to go out to the, sturdy, to the shelter next time kind of thing. All right. Let's uh, bring back some of those, some of the child labor. Four food rashes from two raw food. Yep, fine. All right. Once they reach an unexplored site, scouts will await your orders. To issue them, click the highlighted icon, which we did. They'll often need your decision on how to deal with what they find. Note, scout carry the resources they recover with them. So in order to make use of them, you need to call them back to the city and wait for their return. So there you go. Alright, cool. Little discontent. Cold at home, cold at work. Alright, so we're minus 40 now. And it'll probably give us a tooltip to do this. But uh, I'm going to go into overdrive here. So the temperature in all heat zones rises by one level. But... We get this generator stress, and once it reaches 100, the game ends. So, we'll do this to kind of keep people happy. Here we go. This will increase the heat it provides, but also puts the generator under stress. Keep an eye on the stress gauge. When it reaches 100%, the generator will explode. Cool. But that should fix, like, the discontent stuff. What do we got here? So, really cold. It's inoperative because... Oh, the building must be at least chilly. Well, I don't have a great way to fix that. So we'll see what happens. Move. Nobody's sick anyway. Nobody's sick, so I'm going to take these guys out. And what do we need? Frickin' steel. We need steel. That one's maxed. That one's maxed. There we go. Alright. Minus 40 degrees Celsius, Falstro. Celsius, my man. <laughs> this is still t this is still totally fine. I've been through minus 40 weather. And by totally fine, I mean like it's pretty uncomfortable, but we deal. I've been in minus 40 degrees Celsius plenty of times. Plus, mostly like after the wind chill, to be fair. Uh, but it's really cold. Look at also, like, notice, okay, so it's 925. You notice the shadow from, like, the lip of, uh, of the cliff ledge? See how it's, like, slowly pulling back as the sun rises? How cool is that? That's so cool. Is it, is it minus 42? I think it's, isn't it 42 that's, like, the same or something? I mean, whatever. 40 and 40 is, is pretty close. Okay, so we don't have any more raw food. So let's get these kids out. And, uh... Hey, it's minus 40. Why don't you go salvage some steel for us? Let's go. Okay, these guys are back in, like, just under two hours. Does sunlight add to heat? No, I don't think so. Um... It's just like a straight temperature gauge. And so we have to l survive this until day six. Um, which hopefully goes okay. Hopefully that goes okay for us because this is too cold to work. Which means in the future, like on, on, um, on uh, next playthroughs, I really want to make sure our medical post is on tier one. Because having that down is pretty sketchy. Um, what I could do is, once this technology is done, we can maybe look at heating. And let's see. Generator range upgrade comes at level 2. And in order to get to level 2, we could use 50 trees to get there. And that might be okay. But it's probably more economical to just build heaters. And it looks like we can put a heater in that workplace and get um, the plus one. And it only consumes an, uh, one coal per hour. So it's actually pretty good. Cool. Collox, yeah, he just said. Or you could look at getting heaters. Exactly. 
Exactly. So yeah, we're on the same page there, Colix, my man. As always. As always. Okay, let's get this beacon home. Double rations for kids. In the wake of recent child workers accident, <laughs> the parents argue that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. Oh man, I don't know if I like that idea. Because we, we have a whole bunch of people coming in, and if we double ration the kids right now, Ooh, we're gonna be in trouble. I think, um... I think we can't afford it, honestly. Uh, we can't really afford it. And I need to build homes for these guys, like... Yeah, it's gotta happen. Streets under construction, so we can throw this up. I really wish we could get in closer. May need to look at food laws, potentially. See, look. Oh, we're such good planners. Scouts from the num from number one have returned safely to the city. You can disband the scouts of the beacon or send them back out. I think we'll send them back out. Um, let's see what else is out here. So, crash site for supplies. Gloomy cave. There's a dark cave entrance visible on the hillside. We think we saw a faint wisp of smoke coming from it, but it's gone now. So potentially people. A bulky cylindrical construction stands on a small hill. The Union Jack flies over it, but there's no sign of movement. So probably people. I think I'm actually going to go for supplies. Until we can stabilize with the people that we have. See what happens. So I'm going to need one more house. One more tent. And the hunter's gear is finished. Sick. Gloomy cave sounds promising. Yeah, Lobs, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Definitely sounds promising. All right, reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. Cool. Hunter's gear is done. So I'm going to go into heaters. If I do steam hub... So, when powered by the generator, these contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. Each active steam hub consumes three coal per hour. Or heaters that we can just use where we need them. I guess it depends, like this is gonna use three per hour. So if we need to slam a whole bunch of stuff in one area, um, this uses one per hour. This is cheaper for us right now, which I think I'm gonna focus on. Uh, how are we doing here? Wood at 72, steel at 98. Coal were down. Okay, hold on. Oh, I know why. I think we cleared out a, uh, a coal plant. Or uh, a coal resource. Yeah. Let's go. Good thing we saw that. I also got to check here. We're doing okay, stress-wise. Generator stress. Uh, more over here. Children. Uh, nobody's sick, so let's put all everybody that we can. Oh, holding alt. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. If I hold alt, it kind of gives me an overview of everything that's going on. This one's... Oh, I see. Okay, I actually think we're maxed out on, like, coal places. Aren't we? So I'm going to need to get into, like, see this coal deposit? I need to build a mine. And I don't know... Let's see. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to research that. Let's see what happens. Search for others. Our people found a trail leading to into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them to help to secure our survival. Find other settlement. Is that like a beacon thing? 
Ah, I think that's what the yellow means. Yeah, search for the others. Alright, so we already kind of sent him out, but when they come back with supplies, then we'll do it. Mild frostbite. Citizen became gravely ill. Alright, here we go. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. And we have two more days, basically, of this. <laughs> I see, thanks. Uh, consider signing the radical treatment law or sustain life law. So, this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm glad that we waited. Um, I think we're going to go radical treatment. Discontent rises, but in both scenarios they will. Um, only 30% of the gravely ill will be left as amputees. I don't know if that just decreases their like productivity, or if it's like... Uh, or if it's just they're going to be a little bit pissed off because they lose an arm. But we're going to go Radical Treatment. Wait, hold on. What's... See, one of the things I don't know... Extra rations for the ill, overcrowding, or care house. Like, I don't, I don't know what the difference is. And it's one or the other. But I'm going to make this decision. We're going to go Radical Treatment. Amputees all around. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Okay. Let's fill this place with engineers. Um, the tough problem is... The problem is, I don't have any heaters in there. So y you can start to see, like, how things are shaken out. Like, this is, uh... This is not great. This is not great. I hope they won't just cut my leg off if I fall ill. Well, I mean, yeah, me too. Until this heater is done, I can't do any anything with the uh, medic tents. You know? But this is where it's gonna start to get really bad. Why are these people starving? Can't they just eat these rations? Oh boy. Oh, it's at night, so this isn't happening. Uh, Kaku says, uh, you can never be really sure nowadays, but even some full releases still beta for half a year. What's your impression of testing this? So, like, I played, um, like, 30 minutes yesterday, and about, I don't know, how long today already? 90 minutes? Jeez, this just, like, flowed by. Uh, it's cool. There's, it's one of those games where, like, every run that you do, you're gonna get to a certain point and be like, Oh, I wish I would've had this up by this time. Or I wish I would've done this earlier, this or that. So it's gonna, like, multiple playthroughs, you'll constantly get better. But because stuff is random, uh, you won't always be able to plan for everything. So, like, even now... It's like, we're in a bit of trouble. Look at our food just dropping dramatically. Dramatically. But we don't have, we don't have the raw food rations either. I basically need to uh, hope these people don't die. And hope that tomorrow, we finish this, te this heater technology like ASAP. Look at all the people that are sick. Oh boy. All right. Wood and raw food, which is pretty nice. There's plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Uh, searching on the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're tangled together in a single frozen mass of if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. What kind of meat do you think that is that we're bringing home? Ugh. Okay, bring that home. Uh, I can't do the soup law right now because uh, the laws are on cooldown. Um, after you enact a law, you can't enact another one right away. But soup would be a good idea to make our rations last longer. Okay, I'm just going to move along at it like a quick pace until morning. And then we'll keep things like normal. Uh, this heater thing needs to finish. ASAP. Oh, generator stress level critical. Shut her down. Shut her down. We might lose a few folks. But it's all good. Everything's fine here. <laughs> Jesus. Building this medical post out here really hurt me. So I'm just hoping we can get this heater up. Discontent's gonna rise because everyone's freezing. 
Okay, heaters are done. Heaters are done. Okay, hold on. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's not even like you have to go and build them. It's just like on or off. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's really cool, actually. That's really cool. Uh, no engineers here. I need all of our engineers back here. Okay, I thought we'd have to, like, build a heater as well. Alright. New research. That's... That is really cool. So, I think what I probably want to do... Is go into here so we can get generator upgrades sooner rather than later. Um... Or... Because we're getting lower on coal, I might need a coal thumper. I think that's what we need. The other thing to consider um, is this gap. I think we need a gathering post. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. So. As an example, uh, we have to build a street out here, but anything that's highlighted, it will then, like, start handling, I think. No, maybe not. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. So, no, I think I need... I think I need an actual mine there. Which comes from here, I think. Yeah. This is using the coal deposits. So I think we'll do this. We are getting low on food. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We are. Oh, yeah. That's the challenge. So, one thing I could do... I think I could just build another hunter's hut. And generate more food. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to need to build a street here. Let's do that. This is where things get crazy. Because now we're in like, we're in stress mode. Big time. People seem to be doing good here though. I'm okay with this. Let's check our economy. So, coal-wise, we're up. Are we back to, like, normal temps? Not really. Uh, coal-wise, we're up. Food, we're not up. But I might have the Book of Laws that I can pass soup. Let's do that. So, if I go into soup, uh, we can cook soup instead of full meals. Hope will fall, discontent rises, and eating soup will cause discontent. Whereas food additives, we risk more people getting sick. So, I think we're going to do the soup law. Soup for everybody! Let's go. Buddy Bandit, will I upload this to YouTube? Yeah, I, you know what? I think that I will. I think that I will. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we only have one person gravely ill. We have ev everybody sick. It's cold, you know? This is normal. This is totally normal. Our food rations should last a little longer. Uh, do I have? I don't have anybody working in here right now, so I gotta put those kids back. Where are my kids at? Uh, let's take you guys off the steel. Back into the cookhouse. Same with you. Back into the cookhouse. All right. Now we'll know how the poor are. Now we'll know how the poor ate in the workhouses. Anything to calm the growling stomach, just like in London. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to feed everybody. And you don't like the soup. Jesus. We can combat this. No pun intended. With the um, with the fighting pits, if I research that next. But that's uh, 18 hours. 18 hours that we can sign another one. But, that's a good way to combat it. 
You can disband the scout. Oh, so this is huge. Look at this. Huge. Disband the scouts of the beacon or send them back. We're going to send them back. And I think we could go look for others. But man, if we keep bringing people in, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Might be tough. Might be tough. Um... I'm gonna, well, let's check the gloomy cave first. Depending on how desperate we are for whatever things they find, we might call them back, or we might, from here, send them to the sturdy shelter. We'll see what happens. Um, but I, I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant. Get the coal mine, not the coal thumper. The thumper doesn't use the coal deposits. Really? Did I misunderstand that? Ah, coal mining. So what does this do? It even says we're pumping it into coal deposits. Oh. Okay, hold on. So let's upgrade this. We just got a bunch of trees. I Okay, I think you're right. Let's upgrade this, and then we go coal mining. That's what we're going to need. Okay, really good catch. Thank you so much. That's helpful. Thanks. All right, all right, all right. Food-wise, like, we're still doing good. Everyone's doing fine. Um, I don't know if maybe I should build another medical post. If that's overkill. I'm gonna see if these guys just do okay. 67% efficiency. Oh, one of the workers is in treatment. Oh, Ella. So what if I say... What if I dismiss her as a worker and we bring somebody else in? I hope that didn't, like, dismiss her, like... Bye! <laughs> Let's take one engineer off here, put you back. Ella's back in. Okay, maybe I can't do that. See if I dismiss her. Let's see. I don't think it's going to let me do that for some reason. Like, Ella is in the building, maybe. Is, is that why? Yeah, see? So if I add this, it just puts her back. Interesting. Uh, maybe it takes the closest? Uh, you could be right. Timiak, thanks for the bit, my man. Appreciate that. Thanks, dude. Dismissed equals become dinner. Alright. Okay, we've got another gravely ill. we got a whole bunch of gravely ill. Guys, just hold on till tomorrow. It's going to be nicer out, I swear to God. It's going to be so much nicer outside. Okay. Um, coal is down. I've got workers with nothing to do. I have no more coal deposits, unfortunately. So we have to get... Oh, wait, hold on. <gasps> I do. I do have coal. Both of these are coal, actually. All right, good. We're doing great. Everything's fine. Steel wreckage. Empty. Okay. Man, I hope these guys make it overnight. We got a lot of people gravely ill. So, amputations are definitely going to happen. And it looks like... Okay, this is kind of interesting. This might just say that it's using when it's in red. Food balance we need to fix. Looks like we're still ahead of the curve here. I think red just means it's currently being used. End of shift. Amputations? Yeah, man. More sick beds. All right, here we go. Okay. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. They're asking you to address the problem. I could... You have three days to admit one-third of the sick. 
Or I have three days to build a new medical post, which I was just talking about doing anyways. So let's get on that. Let's get on that. These guys need something in their life. This is again going to be like a level two, but that's okay. We can put a heater inside. It's not the end of the world. Hi, Rock. Thanks for the bits as well. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys liking the game so far? What do you guys think, everyone? It's cool. It's really cool. Uh, there's already... There's like... Uh, at least five things that I would have done differently. Um, knowing what we know now from like, you know, an hour and a half or two years ago. Or two years. Two hours ago. Okay. So we need to get some engineers in this bad boy. We have workers that are not doing anything. Uh, I'll pull the engineers off of this. Max out the workers. And let's grab another engineer. From up here. Get in. Uh, Hunter's Hut. We don't have anybody in there, but that's fine. We don't have any rations. Or wait. <gasps> no, wait. No, wait. We gotta put people in there. This is the hunter's hut. This is not the cooker, the cookery. And this we need the heat. You help the sick and their families are grateful. Hope rises. They don't like our food. I don't know if I can fix that ever, but maybe. Uh, Lazarus Cat, thank you for the bits again. So this new batch. <laughs> Congrats, man. Congrats. I hope you like it. Okay, it's almost like not going to be minus 40 for a while. Imagine how nice that'll be. One sick absence. Four sick absences. I mean... Temperature-wise, like, we're actually doing pretty okay on these places. Low risk of getting... I'm good with low risk getting ill. But I think, like, this is going to happen. I'm pretty sure every time we have that cold spell, people are going to get sick. And maybe... Maybe if we had stuff up earlier, it would be okay. Oh, more survivors. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer... Several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. If we leave the bears alone, the survivors die. If we risk attacking the bears, people in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to our city if they survive. See that little exclamation point with, like, the, uh... I think that's just, like, combat. Pay attention. What do you guys think? I think we gotta... Tr I think we gotta try attacking the bears and see what happens, honestly. More people to feed. Sounds good. Yeah, see? Like, that's what I... Honestly, that's what I was thinking. As soon as it was more people, I was like, I don't know if this is good or bad. <laughs> it's like, more people is rough for us. We're already... Everyone's sick, but... It's because we're going through that cold spell. Um, should we do like a proper vote? Is Falstro here? Maybe we could do a proper vote. Um, it's interesting because because what I think is going to happen here, if we attack the bears, our scouts will die, and then we're going to have to assign more scouts. Let the bears eat the humans and recruit the bears as sentries. Yeah, we should. Ugh. We should do it. Oh man. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack the bears. We had to help the survivors. When our scouts attacked the bears, the people in the cave joined them, and together they drove the beasts away. Then they all set out towards our city. Just saying. Just saying. How cool is that? So, I wonder... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. 
uh, about the uh, sorry about the vote there kind of backfired. Um, I wonder if we think about it. That's got to be like a random chance, right? It's got to be like maybe 50-50 or whatever. Uh, there could be some like stuff behind the scenes. I don't know. But I imagine that that won't work every time. Maybe it will. I, I could. I don't know. Okay, medical post. We're cruising. Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Medical post over here is doing great. Will it tell us? Okay, it tells us recovery time. But I don't know if it will tell us, um... Man, there's so many people sick. I don't know if it will tell us when they're amputated. But we're about to find out. Look! It's only minus 30, you guys! It's only minus 30. That's outstanding. That's great. Things are fine. Things are fine. Okay, so, uh, coal-wise, let's just do a quick check here. We still have 429 coal here, so that's gonna last a while yet. 288. Uh, 302. So I don't know that we need to build the coal mine yet, but it will be available for when that, when that gets low. Uh, so in the next technology tree, we're gonna look for maybe something else. Okay, we depleted some wood over there. Do we have any more wood lying around. I don't think so. I think maybe that's what we should do. Um, is maybe get like a sawmill or whatever. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Got some there. That's going to get sucked up real fast. Just seeing where else I can throw these guys. If they have the day off, I'm sure they won't mind, but... I could put more people here if I distribute my guys better. Who do we have available? We have a bunch of engineers. So let me take these guys out and we'll add workers here. Engineers here. And then I still have, like, four engineers idle. They're too good for the coal piles. Here. One more engineer. Why is this one at only 67? Oh, because we have that guy, that person in treatment. That's right. 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 Uh, we have two medical posts. We do have two medical posts. Um, but people sh will hopefully be getting better. Drawing boards of research. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so coal mining is available. I think the sawmill, though, this is probably what we want out there. Or, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, the steel and the coal. Steel, wood, coal. So if I go into the sawmill, that'll get us, like, our basic needs of the wood. But I also want to consider, because we got this here. Oh, look at this, guys. Did not know, so that's super cool. Uh, unlocking this unlocks it on every tab. That's huge. That's huge. I did not know that. That's really cool. That's really cool. So, how are we doing food-wise? Keep in mind we have more people coming. I think food is a bit of a concern. See, like, we're kind of in the negative here. Um, so if we build, if we research the hothouse, then we can build that so that we can generate more raw food. And it takes up one of these, um, cores. Medical post upgrade, probably next. Heal the sick 10% faster. Bunkhouse, dwelling for 10 people is adequately protected from the weather. So this is better than those crappy tents. Ooh, so many things! So many things. 
So many things. It's too bad the bunkhouse doesn't provide more... Uh, more space. See, the house will. But I'm gonna go food first. Because we have more people coming back. Uh, the next one I'll probably do is... Probably bunkhouse. Or the generator range as well would probably be probably be good. Does this use more? Yeah, the coal used by the generators doubled. So this we kind of have to do in conjunction with coal mining as well. And we only have one of these steam cores. So the decision is, will we go into coal mining or will we go into like... Hmm. How do we get these steam cores again? Do we find that by, uh, exploring? Not sure. Alright. Alright. Okay, so we should probably get basic tents up here for these guys. That are coming in. Steam cores. Do you guys remember where we got the steam cores? Ex from exploration. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, these guys are almost back with those people. And then we'll send them out to some other places. So that's good. You are not going for a law. Yeah, I know. Guys, um... Just relax, eh? Like, you don't need to flip out. Because if we go for the laws, what can happen is there's times that uh, it'll say, hey, right now, because this is happening, you might want to sign a law. And because we don't know what could happen, it's scary uh, to go for a law right now that could potentially prohibit us from getting another one that we really need in that moment. You know what I mean? So, let's see. Overcrowding. Our medical facilities should be fully utilized, even if we have to put patients on the floor. I still think the fighting arena would be pretty decent. Um, I think the fighting arena would be pretty good, because that removes some of the discontent. Also, is there a way for us to say in the cookhouse... Ah! Yeah, like, we can switch back to standard meals at 40 an hour, and that'll remove some of the discontent. There are some people that are going to be cold at home, which is not great. But I think we'll keep it like this for right now. Fighting arena is very good. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. For sure. <laughs> Pastor Mikey Wan, what's up, man? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for the bits. So we have a few days until we're going to drop another level. Maybe we should fire out the, the uh, fighting arena. Yeah, let's do it. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. So where does this... Oh, here. Fighting arena. We have to place it, like, way on the outskirts, but, I mean... That's fine. One of the things I can't wait to, like, um, like when, when we really learn more about, like, uh, placement and what buildings need to go where, I wonder if you would ever want to, like, you probably would. You'd probably want to break things down and rebuild them in, like, better spots, right? Okay, our expedition's returning. We're going to need more places to live. The problem is... Uh, I think we're going to have heating problems out here. Low risk of getting ill. Let's see. I still have some, like, level 2 areas. But, like, this is getting pretty dicey. And maybe this is where some of those, um... 
Maybe this is where like a steam hub would be valuable, right? You position the steam hub, I think, in uh, the same place where you build all of your tents. And I think that would increase their their heat. I think. I think. Why does the fighting arena need a new law? I don't know. Maybe it's something in like the lore that would tell us that. I don't know. Okay, you can store up to 900 coal and 300 of every other resource. When this limit is reached, the gathering or extraction of a given type of resource will stop. To raise the limit, build a resource depot and set it to store the desired resource. Each resource depot can store 900 coal or 300 of any other resource. So we must have maxed out on coal there for a bit. Uh, let's flip this back into overdrive. So low risk, low risk. You know, I'm okay with low risk. That's not terrible. Beacon's cold, I don't think it matters. Moderate risk of getting ill. I don't know if the, the temperature at home matters if these guys are out cruising. You know? But I'll want to give this a few days to chill out because um, when we get to the next temperature drop, we're going to want to go overdrive again. Okay, so that wood's depleted. I'm pretty sure all of our basic stuff is pretty full. Or non-existent. Yeah, see? So, like, I can't even... I can't even assign these guys to go and do stuff right now. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you, Warlin. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you. Fighting Arena has been established in accordance with the new law. Hope rises. Hello. Alright. Uh... Fighting Arena. Fights are held here in the evening. Everyone can participate or watch. People fighting, no one. Passive effects. People living near a fighting arena... Oh... ...can find distraction and bloody obst or spectacles. So I wonder if I should have placed that closer to all of these places. Sounds like it. Do I like this more than Battletech? Oh, it's just totally different. You can disband the scouts or send them back out. Oh, I gotta send them back out. Oh, cool. You can even go back and see the places that you've been to. So this is the other shelter. I really don't think we can do that. Um, this peculiar building must be the Arctic Observatory the Royal Society built to investigate the eternal winter. There's smoke over it. Let's send them out here. Uh, they're both totally different games. And I, I'm enjoying them both. I'm having a great time with this. It's, uh, you know, it gets progressively more difficult. And now I got all these people, homeless, uh, without jobs. So I gotta, once this is done, we're gonna get this hothouse going for more food. I need to build more tents. The problem is, is it's gonna be, um, people are gonna get sick out here. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should build them around this thing. Like that's, that's pretty far. I think all of them are going to be on tier 3 anyway, so... Boy oh boy. Boy oh! I'll build a street out here. Wait, do I need... Hold on, I don't think I need that many. Alright. How are we doing in the middle here? Not bad. Hot house. Research. Done. Okay. This is... I feel like this is a really important decision we need to make here. If I do bunk houses, likely what I do is destroy the ones that we have 
and rebuild a bunkhouse, uh, starting from the outskirts, um, because it looks like they have higher insulation. Wait, I built two fighting arenas? Oh! Oh. Oh, boy. Whoops. Oh, yeah, you're right. I see what I did. Good catch. Thanks, guys. Um... Yeah, good catch. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Okay. If I go to the bunkhouse, I'll be replacing the outer ones first. And they'll be more adequately protected from the weather. And I could just leave the tents inside. But I think I would demolish and rebuild. Um, but the other thing is that we're running out of resources outside. And so if I don't get, like, the sawmill up soon... Um, or the steel works, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. So let me just take a look here. I think I need to build that hothouse, number one, because food-wise we're in a bit of a bit of a situation. Steel and wood, we're not gaining any right now, so we're totally flat. Because pretty much those were all... All gone, right? Yeah, it's just coal, I think. Coal, coal, coal. So yeah, we pretty much need to go into for sure the sawmill and then coal mining didn't we use a steam core it says we have one but I thought we used one on uh... I thought we used one maybe I'm wrong I think we go sawmill here Food-wise, how are we doing? How are we doing for food? We could switch back to soup temporarily. Discontent's, like, not terrible. We could switch back. Let's go soup. Everyone's super hot in there. It's awesome. I have all these workers that can't do anything, so I need places for them to work as well. Um, let's get the hothouse up. 30 raw food per day. Now again, I don't know if it's better for us to like... Just keep building. It looks like it probably has a lot of insulation. Yeah, okay, it's, it's got one. 